What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Wednesday. It's Isn't that Wednesday, right? My dudes. Isn't that right, Aria? So. I will forever make Vine references as soon as I can. Good. So, we figured out something that is not mm. fun. There is like a nationwide like glass case shortage basically happening. I talked to um, the guy at one of the places we were looking at ordering from, and he told me that they like the government passed some law that you can't sell vape products on the internet. And so all the people that were doing that are opening stores and like, <laughs> It's crazy, and they're, like, sold out of everything, and they can make stuff, but there's, like, a five-week minimum wait wait time right now. So, I am looking at multiple different websites. I've found a few things that say that they're in stock. Lots of stuff says out of stock, but then some websites don't say if it's in stock or not, including the one that I had called, because it just looked like I could buy whatever I wanted, but when I talked to him on the phone, he's like, yeah, we don't have that, yeah, we don't have that, yeah, we don't have that. So... He has an option for the big stand-up glass cases, which uh, we have four of currently. We're looking at getting probably six more. Or not six more. That's way too many. Yeah. We were looking at getting... Like three more. Like three or four more. Um, and he's got one that is similar to the black cabinet that we have. I don't know if you guys will remember it, but it's the one that has a Nintendo logo on the top. We got that custom decal for. It's similar to that. It's about that height, uh, but they are double the price of the ones that I was trying to get. Um, so they're, they're expensive. Um, also, we use glass cases for our countertops up near the register and everything, and can't really find those either. I've looked locally on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist. There's a couple posted, but they're like antique ones, and they're like 500 bucks, and they're like like a dark cherry wood color or something. Like, it's not going to match. It's not going to work. When we first were opening the store, I was looking for that same type of stuff, and I saw plenty of cabinets of glass cases posted for 50 to 100 bucks, and now I can't find a single one. So this might prove to be a problem with the expansion. We might have to fill the space with something else while we're waiting for cabinets to, to get made or something. I'm really not sure, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. So we're doing what we can. Um, we still have other things we were planning on getting that are readily available grid wall to make, um, like the aisles of shelving on, you know, and stuff like that. So we can still do all those. And we have plans for like a big plushy wall and all that kind of stuff. So, Eventually everything will get done and it'll be fine, but we might have to be waiting a little bit longer for cases to come in than we were originally expecting to. Who knows? Either way, we're still going to get the expansion done and we're still going to, you know, obviously make it how we want it eventually. It just might take some extra time. So I just got to the Goodwill outlet. Guys, I uh, wasn't really planning on coming today, but don't really have anything else to film. Figured I would just pop over to this one. Maybe stop at one more on the way home. I'm not sure. But hopefully we find some cool stuff. And I think you guys have seen me dig through the bins enough. So I don't think I'm going to film any of that today. I'm just going to go in, see what I can get, and then we'll show you guys after. All right, guys, we did not find a ton here, but still worth a small trip. Got a couple Minecraft plushies, pig and a sheep, just for the $3 bin. Got a Pez dispenser, still brand new. I told you guys, I think I'm gonna save up a huge lot of Pez dispensers and just sell them on eBay. But this one's brand new. It's not worth anything. This is a newer one. I'm gonna probably just eat the candy. <laughs> we got a few blank VHS tapes that are still factory sealed. Those do well in lots on Amazon. I got Appleseed Book 2, Prometheus Unbound. It's a comic, manga, whatever you want to call it. 39 cents for that bad boy. Got a little Batman for the dollar bin. We got these little uh, coaxial staples, which I'm sure we can use during the expansion. Got a few VHS for the store. Uh, the Day the World Ended, The Mangler 2, and Venomous. Rock band guitar strap, 
This is for Abby. Little Aristocats ornament from the Disney store. And then my electronics. Two little handheld Radica games. Those usually do pretty well on Amazon. Hoover battery charger for a cordless vacuum. These are like 25, 30 bucks. And then I got both cables for an Xbox 360. Power cables in there. I spent a total of $13.70. So not too bad, but nothing too special. So I'm going to head to a regular Goodwill now. Here we are. We have made it to the next Goodwill. Nothing there, unfortunately. <clears throat> They're pretty cleaned out. I might try to hit up one more before we head back home. I just, I always try to give you guys something for the vlogs. And that's why usually on one of our days off, I try to go Goodwilling. Not because I need the stuff, but just because there's nothing else to film. And I don't really want to go two days without like a decent vlog. So I'm always trying to at least find something cool, but, uh, Today might just be one of those days. We're making a quick stop at retails. They close in literally one minute, so I was being really, really quick. Didn't really have time to film in there. There was nothing. One more stop and then we're going back home.
Unfortunately, guys, nothing at that one either. I spent probably 10, 15 minutes before leaving just looking at DVDs, seeing if I could find anything. I found one DVD that was going for like 10 bucks or so, but for $2.99, it's almost worth it, but not really. And it wasn't like it was a horror movie or something like that. It was just like a, a, six, a six comedy film collection thing. So if it was like some weird horror movie, I probably would have gotten it. But unfortunately, that is the end of our thrifting for today. So now we're headed back home. All right, guys, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Zelda loves it. Don't you love being right next to Arya? <laughs> <laughs> Arya always wants to play with Zelda, but Zelda does not like Arya. I don't Arya. think either one of them realize that they're by each other. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Both gone. <clears throat> Abby did a thing today. I don't want to show it. Show it. Don't, you can't get close up because I just ate dinner. Can you see it? Okay, that's close <laughs> enough. Abby got her tongue pierced. Ouch. It didn't hurt. It I really don't believe didn't. that. My, my eyes didn't even water. I was worried about it hurting, that I was like gonna pull away. Um, but getting your tongue pierced is less pain than biting your tongue. Homer, get down. He's like, just don't <laughs> up here. Um, Meow. Like I took an ibuprofen earlier, the swelling's going down, and it doesn't hurt to talk or anything. It's just a little bit difficult for me to talk. Because I'm drooling a lot, is one thing. If she talks quickly, she has a lisp too, just like me. Hi, welcome to Double the Minigums. <laughs> Aria, be nice to Homer. That's your boyfriend. But yeah. If I... Why is she being like that? Because he's trying to hump her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he is. He was earlier. <laughs> if I talk slowly and I focus on my words that I'm saying, it doesn't sound too bad. But if I talk really quickly, you can't really understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really understand. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> now you know how I feel all the time. Why? Because have... I have a lisp. Not that bad. Not with what's happening to me. Eh, I don't know. Homer, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> hey, down. <laughs> so, somebody asked us. Who asked? Who? I don't know their name. It's like. Where's, there's no good lighting in here. <laughs> Let's just go over here. <laughs> yeah, turn on the filming light. The filming light that is always on over here. <laughs> That's better. My my screen's also really dim. Um, somebody asked us, I don't know who, if we were going to complete shipping before, like, getting everything out. Yes, of course. Like, there's multiple comments, I think. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to ship out everything. We should only not be able to go into a store for, like, three or four days max while they're actually doing construction. M maybe up to a week. Maybe up to a week. But I, I'm predicting we're going to be close for two to two and a half weeks, maybe three. And two and three second and third week it's going to be us organizing stuff and changing everything yeah we're going to be in there but uh, and then another thing was somebody asked like what's going to happen to our employees um they're going to come into work with us before anybody was hired <laughs> we told them exactly what to expect they all knew before we even made the job offer to them that we would be closing for some period of time and for part of that period, not a very big period, they wouldn't be coming in and working. Yeah, so if we're going in, basically employees are going to be going in as well. If they want to. Of course. We There's going to be a lot oh, so of like work to do. We're going to have to take... We're going to have to take all the glass cases away from the wall. We're also mm -hmm. going to have to take the, the slat wall down off the wall, which is behind all the glass cases there. Um... The shelf that has all the empty DS cases is going to have to come down. Those are the cases will have to come down, as, of course. Um, and then everything that's on that wall will have to be moved out. And 
Abby and I are not doing that by ourselves. We have employees to help with that. Once they tear down the wall and patch it up and fix and finish everything, there's still a lot of work to do. We have to put all the glass cases back. We have to move them all the way across the store now. We have to put up new grid wall and, and like make new shelves and reorganize everything, get our new glass cases in there, all that kind of stuff. So it's not a two-person job, and we're going to have all of the employees helping with that. So no one is going to not be working any longer than we are not going to be working. So <clears throat> like I said, we don't expect it to be more than a week that we are not in the store. After that, we'll still be closed, obviously, but we're going to be going in, we're going to be working on the store, we're going to be shipping orders, doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and essentially, all they have to do is break down the wall. Shouldn't take more than a day. They already took the electrical out, so there's nothing to worry about except for us moving our stuff. Then they have to do the flooring, mm -hmm. which, again, shouldn't take more than a day. It shouldn't take more than a couple hours. Then they have to put in the drop ceiling, which I do think, I don't, not in this order. Well, they already have the frame for it. They just have to put the panels in. Yeah, so they just have to put the panels in. Again, should take more. And the light fixtures more. and stuff. Light fixtures might take a little bit more time. And then they have to paint, which is going to take the longest and which is going to smell the worst because they have this gross, bright yellow paint in there right now. I like the color yellow, just not that color that they have in there. And that's going to take a couple of coats. But other than that, they really shouldn't have to be in there for more than a week. Yeah. Realistically. So as soon as they're done, we'll be going back in, uh, you know, like I said, moving stuff around, organizing, shipping out orders, all that. So um, don't be worried about that. But we are considering shutting down the website for the time that we are not going in. So the website would maybe be down for a week. That would be it. So and any orders that come in before that, we will get shipped out, of course. <clears throat> but we need to get to bed because we're waking up at 8 o'clock in the morning to go into the store early because we have 90 orders right now that we need to pull and ship. And if I was just working on orders while we're at the store normal hours in the back, it would probably take me three to four days to get all this stuff shipped because there's going to be more orders that come in, of course, on top of the 90 we already have. So we're going in at 8. We're hoping that it'll take us maybe about an hour to pull everything. And then from like whenever we finish that from about nine until noon when we open we will just be shipping stuff and hopefully i mean if we can finish at all that'd be awesome i don't expect us to <clears throat> but if we can get as close to being done as possible that would be awesome and then whatever else needs to be finished throughout the day i can work on in the back so that's kind of where we are it is like 11 30 so we need to get this vlog edited and get to bed we at least want to try to get seven hours of sleep or so so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see Bye. you again tomorrow.